Welcome back to recitation. In this video, I really just want to practice matrix multiplication, which is potentially something new for some of you, and maybe some of you have been doing it for a while and are very good at it. But I want to make sure that, that everyone's feeling confident in their ability to multiply matrices. So we have three matrices here. We have A, B, and C. And what I want you to do is I want you to com compute what makes sense below. I have four products of matrices below. A is A times B, B is B times A, C is B times C, and D is A times C. So I want you to find, multiply the matrices that make sense to multiply, and then the ones that don't, maybe make sure you understand why. Give yourself a, a brief explanation of why you can't multiply them. Um, so why don't you work on that, pause the video, and when you feel confident in your answers, bring the video back up, and you can check them against my work. Okay, welcome back. Well, we wanted to make sure we felt comfortable multiplying matrices. So what we're going to do is look at the four products I, I mentioned below, and we're going to see um, how, how they do, whether or not we can actually compute them. So let's first look at A, which was A times B. So before I write, down, write it down again, A times B is, notice A is a 2 by 2 matrix, and B is a 2 by 3 matrix, right? And so if I, if I write letter A, we know we're taking a 2 by 2 by a, a 2 by 3. And so the fact that the interior uh, dimensions agree that the number of columns of A is equal to the number of rows of B means that I can multiply them. So I can multiply them, and my result I expect to get is, of course, the, the dimensions we have on the outside. So I expect to get a 2 by 3 matrix. So I'm going to rewrite A and B here so that I don't have to keep walking back and forth. And then we'll, uh, we'll do the multiplication. So I have 6, 5, 1, 2 times 2 minus 1, 3, 1, 0, 4. OK. So I want to, I want to perform this multiplication. Now, remember that when you are looking for a value in your resulting matrix, which I know is 2 by 3, so I can even make a little space for myself. I know it's 2 by 3, so I know I'm going to have to fill in these spots. When I look at this position, it's row 1, column 1. That means I take row 1 of the first matrix, and I'm essentially just dotting it with column 1 of the second matrix. So I'm taking row 1 times column 1 in the way it was described, which is I take 6 times 2, and I add it to 5 times 1. So row 1, column 1 gives me 6 times 2 is 12, plus 5 times 1, which is 5, so I get 17. And then if I come into the next spot, what is this in the resulting matrix? Its position is row 1, column 2. So now I take row 1 of the first matrix, column 2 of the second matrix. And I get 6 times negative 1 is negative 6, plus 0 times 5. So I get a negative 6 here. Negative 6 times 0. Maybe I should show you this way. Negative 6 times 0. OK. And then here I am now in the third spot of the first row. So I'm in row 1, column 3. So that's, again, row 1 of the first, column 3 of the second. So you see a pattern here about where we're getting our, our, our things from that we're multiplying. It's row 1, column 3 of the resulting. I take row 1 of the first, column 3 of the second. So 6 times 3 is 18, plus 5 times 4 is 20. So 20 plus 18 is 38. OK? Now I have to do the same thing on the bottom, right? So I have now here the row. I'm, notice I'm in row 2, so I'm always going to use row 2 of this first matrix. And then what we saw last time is I used column 1 in the first spot, column 2 in the second spot, column 3 in the third spot, right? That's what happens over and over again. So what do I do? I take, I take 1, 2, and I multiply it by 2, 1. So I take 1 times 2 plus 2 times 1. So I get 2 there and 2 there, so I get a 4. And then the next column, row, row 2, column 2, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 2 times 0 is 0, so I get a negative 1. And then the last column, 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 4 is 8, so I get 3 plus 8. So I get 11. Hopefully, I didn't make any stupid uh, summi summing mistakes there. But if I did, you probably caught it, because I was trying to say what I did as we went. 
So that is the answer to A. Okay, so now let's think about what is B. B was take uh, B times A, which is just to switch the order. So let's look at the dimension matchup. Now we have a 2 by 3 matrix, and I'm trying to multiply it by a 2 by 2 matrix. Well, I don't have to do any more work because I can't do it. Because the dimensions of the insides here, three columns for B, two, two rows for A, means I can't actually multiply them. Okay, so I, there's, this isn't even defined. Okay, so that was easy. That was B. All right. Letter C, I'll give myself a lot of room to do that. Uh, letter C was B times C, and so I'm going to write down the dimensions to see if I even need to write down the matrices. B was, a, uh, was two rows by three columns, and C was three rows by two columns. So if I look at the dimensions, the three and the three match up, so I am going to be able to multiply them, and my result, as I mentioned before, should be a two by two. So let me write down B and C here so we don't, um, so we don't have to keep going to the side. Okay, and then C is 1, 2, negative 1, negative 1, 3, 2. All right, let me just make sure I didn't transcribe anything incorrectly. I think it looks good. Okay. So row 1 of B, row 2 of B, column 1 of C, column 2 of C. We're going to be dealing with those specifically. So we want to multiply these. We said our resulting matrix is going to be 2 by 2. Okay. Because I'm going to have a lot of terms, I might write them down on this one and then simplify because I, I may make a mistake. So to be more careful, I'll write down all the pieces. So here I am in row 1, column 1 of the resulting. So I take row 1 of the first, column 1 of the second. And what do I get when I multiply? I get 2 times 1, that's 2, plus negative 1 times 2, that's negative 2 plus 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3. All right, that's all we have to do for the first position. Then I do for this second one, it's row 1, column 2. So I do row 1, column 2. So I'll try to keep my head out of the way. I realize I keep stepping in front. So it's 2 times negative 1. I get negative 2. Negative 1 times 3. So I get negative 3. And 3 times 2 gives me 6. Okay. And then the bottom two, I get row two, column one over here, and then row two, column two over here. So row two, column one is going to be one times one plus zero times two plus four times negative one. So I get negative four. And then here, row two, column two, I get one times negative one, so I have negative one plus 0 times 3, so plus 0, and then 4 times 2 is 8. So if I simplify these, it looks like in the first spot I should get a negative 3. In the second spot, I should get a 1. This is just for you to check your answer. In the third spot, I get a negative 3. And in the fourth spot, I get a 7. So hopefully I added correctly all throughout. I think I did, so I think we're good there. So that is the answer to C. And again, the reason we can multiply those was that there, the dimensions, when he wrote them down in order, the dimensions to the inside agreed, and then the outside gives us the size of the resulting matrix. So there was one more problem, and that was D, and I wanted you to take A times C, and A was a 2 by 2, and C was a 3 by 2, and so again, we see we can't do it because the two interior dimensions here, when I write them in that order, don't agree. OK, so D uh, is not defined. All right, so the basic idea of this whole, this, this whole video was just to make sure we felt comfortable multiplying matrices. We're trying to use some simple examples to understand that, understand how we can recognize from the dimensions uh, whether or not e multiplication is even defined, and then what size the ma resulting matrix will be. I do want to point out one thing. And I want to point out that if we come over to our example um, back at the beginning, 
we had AB as our first example and then BA as our second example. And AB, well, I think I got to remember what they were. Yeah, AB you could multiply, but BA you could not. So I think it has been stressed before, but I think I should stress it again that order matters in multiplication. Okay, you can't commute these things. You can't switch the order and get the same result. So matrix multiplication, you have to be very careful about keeping things in the same order as you're multiplying. Okay, I think that is where I will stop.